Hello everyone and welcome back. Today I'm gonna showcase P800 Prospector Boca Grande. This is gonna be my first walkthrough. So I hope you like it. Let's start with uh, with the ship cutter in the half. This is how it's looking like all the internal stuff around, connections all of the juicy parts of the ship which they are hidden under the armor this is also the other side here you can see a half of the hangar up, up it's the control room and some lunch areas and living quarters now let's move to the entire ship the ship has uh, five main entrances I mean one is the hangar in front also has two separate airlocks on the side only per person size can go through and hence it has one more in the back which it's through the refineries jump drives and all, all of those explosive parts of the ship so yeah let's start from the front also it has a ladder in case you are on the planet without the jetpack Let's start to get inside, let's open the hangar, also has uh, nice uh, programmable blocks with lights and everything, the ship is fully pressurized, we can close back the hangar door. So this is the hangar, it's a small hangar, it's meant probably for a rover or a small grid miner, nothing fancy, like size wise. Wise also has two armored windows on each side and here is the connector with the air vent then we can go up on the stairs and here we can see the some storage for personal how it's called this one I always forget this is the lockers yeah some lockers this is the toilet case you need it and then we can pass through the airlock <coughs> this is the main uh, airlock of the ship where you can have the access on the side entrances what I was showing you a couple of moments ago and from here we are going inside of the ship this is the presumably the main entrance with some armory and another vent then we go up on the stairs and this is the first welcoming, let's say, part of the ship with nice view on each side with some plant decoration. On each side you have a bedroom for living with a nice, I really like the lighting with the blue lights. It's nothing big, but it, enough to do the job. This side also, you can see some timing blocks over there. After this, I will come on this side. This is the living quarters, like the lunch area with a bar, kitchen and everything. Also nice view on each side. Here you see another button, auto doors, all, all open doors and so on. It has some script as far as I'm aware to out make the doors automatic. And after, this is the control room, the deck has the main cockpit has some AI blocks to control if you make some turrets of some sort with the new block the control cockpit stand it also has a nice let's say 280 degrees view it's not a 360 but using also the new windows panel the armored one with the desk also and up you have also more windows for extra visibility the ship is really cool I really like also the red lighting gives an idea of this is important don't come in and now let's check this one here we are going towards the back of the ship this is with the I would say the storage like where you have also the survival kit, some cryopods, some nice decoration shelves, 
with extra parts and other armory this looks like the new battery yeah and this one is gonna lead to a new airlock where you are gonna exit through the rear entrance I will open the lights a bit here you can see the industrial refinery with the jump drive and some piping if we go down yeah it's the industrial the big grid industrial refinery and this is the rear entrance so this was it it's a really cool ship i like the spaced angled armor i'm a huge fan of this type of buildings with a nice lighting also it's a decent ship well done overall I believe it's gonna do the job well also you can fly in the atmospheric on the planets to land I didn't test it if you can do it fully loaded maybe yeah I believe you should be able to take in consideration how many thruster it has I hope guys you like it and yeah see you in the next one bye